Hi, I'm Simona, and in this video I'm going to show you how to copy an entire artboard, with or without artwork, to a brand new document in Adobe Illustrator. And if you keep watching, I'll share a really neat and useful tip about guides and artboards with you too. Adobe Illustrator recently updated how you can treat artboards. In the past, you couldn't select the artboards with the artwork and copy it to a new document. Now with one of the latest versions, this has been made available. And I think it is really great. Because what, for example, you have three artboards and you would like to copy those artboards to a new document. First of all, you would think you just select everything. All of it is highlighted. Then you go to Edit, Copy, and then File, New. And then you create a new document. I'm going to zoom out and then I'm going to paste what I just copied from my other file into my new document. I have my elements, but not my artboards. Now let me undo this. Now in order to select all of the artboards, simply select the artboard tool from your toolbar and you can see all of your artboards are highlighted now. You can see this by the dashed line around and that each and every single artboard is highlighted in blue. If I wanted to deselect all of the artboards, you can easily do this by pressing and holding the shift key and then dragging across all of your artboards. Now our dashed line is gone and also the artboard name is not highlighted in blue anymore. So again, to select all of your artboards, press and hold the shift key, drag across all of your artboards and now they're highlighted again. I see the dashed line and the name of the artboard is highlighted in a light blue. Now we can go to edit, copy. I'll go back to my new document I've created. I already have one artboard in it, but watch what happens when I press paste. So under edit, paste, and it pasted all of my artboards with my content on the artboard. Just to make sure when you select all of the artboards via the artboard tool that you have this tiny little icon selected, which says move and copy artwork with artboard. If this is not selected, all you would do is copy the artboards. I'm going to demonstrate this under edit. I'm going to select copy. You can see I still have my artboard selected. And when I go into my new document and I'm going to edit, paste, I pasted my artboards, but without the artwork on it. Simply because I unchecked via the artboard tool, this little icon. But of course, if you're already working on something with elements on your artboards, you most likely want to make sure you copy it with it. So make sure that this here is selected. Now I would like to show you something else with artboards and it has to do with the guides. Now, if you make your rulers visible, either you go to view and then select show rulers or the shortcut for this is command or control plus R. Right now I have set my rulers to points. When you go over the ruler with your cursor and right click, you can easily switch them from points, picas, inches, millimeters, centimeters, pixels. But I would just like to keep it as is, so mine are in points. And when I go and drag a guide out of my ruler onto my artboards, you notice that it stretches across all of the artboards, even all over my canvas. But what if I would like to just have it with one artboard or constraint to the artboard? Let me show you how this works. So I'm going to undo this. My ruler is gone. I'm going to switch to the artboard tool. I have my second artboard selected. It's indicated by the dashed line and highlighted in blue. Now when I drag a guide out from my ruler and push it over my artboard, you see a small dashed line. When you let go, the guide will only be applied to my artboard that I have highlighted. It will not stretch across everything, including the other artboards or the canvas. Now this is really nifty if you need to create guides for each of your artboards and your sizes are different. Here, let me show you. If I shrink down my first icon, it is now much smaller than my second icon on my second artboard. And I need to create guides for this. So I'm going to select the artboard tool. I'm going to grab a guide from my rulers, drag it out, and then place it on top of my icon. Again, it does not stretch over onto my next artboard, nor the canvas in the background. I think this is really nifty because it keeps things much cleaner and you can place guides without stretching over other artboards. And of course, if you have your smart guides turned on, you can easily snap it to your artwork as well. So again, I'm going to highlight the artboard. I'm going to grab 
a ruler, you notice that now my ruler gets snapped to the path. So it's exactly with the path I let go and I created my guide that is now flush to my artwork. And that's it. Thanks so much for watching this video. I hope I showed you something new. If I did, make sure to give it a like and also subscribe to the channel. Hit that tiny notification bell so you won't miss any of the future tutorials. And one important thing to remember, you can make it happen and I'm here to help.